And there's a button up here. That so in this video, we're going to be doing uh, a logo Boom. using the DC shoes as our basis. When you open up a new document, you're going to be starting off with uh, what the is a sum, assume, easy. usually going to be a print exactly. letter. We're going to change this from points to inches. Okay, Always go to inches because we understand them better. And we're going to go 10 by but 10 on this. One of the things we're doing in this little series is learning how to choose a document so size. A so there's 10 by 10. And OK. The and there's our window. Boy, so we're going to start, of course, uh, by saving our file first. No, so file, save um, as. And we're going to save this uh, here. Path, and I should use my last path. name. Yes. And that well, of my partner. Does, it makes a whole another object. In so there, as we well as uh, the project path. working on DC so logo. There. That's where the so there's that. So it's saving it. Depending on which version you're in, it may ask you which version you want to save as. So I'm click OK there. And now I'm going to build up my layers. So layers are really important because they allow us to separate our work and preserve some things while we're working. So now, starting off here, we're going to have three layers total. The first layer at the bottom is where my name is going to go. The next layer up is for my tracing image. And you can name whatever you want. This one I'm going to call Art. So now I've got three layers. So lock the ones you're not working on by clicking on that lock lock button. And I got this. So my layer here, I'm just going to put my name. And, and we use and click text or uh, what do you right call now. it? Um, yeah, point text. OK. Point type. Now we have two paths. And I'm going to write my thing. name. Turn one off. So small I can't even see. I hope I spelled it right. That's the bottom. Call myself any names. Take this so I click this up. Because we want the thicker. Red this over here. And now I lock that layer. So on the tracing layer, I'm going to use file. Put the and I'm going to use path on the bottom. Place. Now I can't see place. Why not? The reason I can't see place is because I'm on a locked layer. It wants to be on an unlocked so layer to get that job done. File, and, place, um, and we're using today on this one the. I didn't have it selected. Ha, ha. I can't remember yeah, what logo we're doing on this. this DC logo. So, if you don't so there again is another reason why we pay attention to where we save our stuff to, because if you can't find it when you need it, you waste time. Size a bit more. So there's this one, and what I'm going to do before I move on is I'm going to open this up. I'm going to lock. Here's this. Am I almost there? Uncheck totally, print, and I'm going to dim images to about 30%. Let's try something. The reason that we want to do that is if I use them, shouldn't lock it yet. I drop is uh, we want this to be, um, and I'm going to hold down shift while I size it up. The we want this to be sort of dimmed out, capabilities. But if I switch and I can here, also center this. So colors, finding one of the other panels we're going to use today, the align I'm panel. I love the, the align panel because it shows so now, us friends Pathfinder see, and Transform. For align, I'm going to align this to center. You're going to use file center, and move that away for now. Make and now sure you have lock this layer saved and open the art layer. So on the art layer, we're going to use pretty much a few basic shape tools. If you need to change something, so if I go using all this layers. There, I've got my go shape. It didn't really quite come out exactly. The copy and that's okay. Using save for web, the process of designing Illustrator is an imperfect thing. And okay, you're going to choose this PNG. over. This is not I'm trying to approximate layers. the shape back there. It it's not okay. going to be exact. So that's, that's okay. how it works. Get the uh, rectangle tool. I'm going to logo. cut this off. May need to watch and re -watch so I've got this, two shapes there. And observe in the layer panel that it shows me all my shapes. So I take this and using. Pathfinder minus front. I now have this. So now I can shape this a bit more to go that way a bit. And I might want to make this semi transparent. So if I choose opacity and reduce that down a little bit, that may help. And I also need to use a rectangle tool. So the rectangle tool is going to draw me this. And then I'm going to join those together using Pathfinder Unite. And there I go. Now I do have some additional points in here that I don't want. So let's go get rid of those. So I'm going to take this point and minus selected anchor point. Now that means that this is now out of line. So let's move that up or move this one down. So I want to try to use that arrow key down. And I can see that this line is flattening out, sort of. Let's move up here. See if we have the same issue at the bottom of the window. So there's this one. And this button here is, of course, remove select an anchor point. Let's move that one up. And there we go. Moving out. We're moving pretty fast here. So when you do this, you may want to slow down a bit until you adjust. So I could take these handles that you can barely see and adjust them. Let's take this. And I can take this one and adjust it a little bit. So now I've got a better approximation of my shape. And... Pardon that. Okay. So I take this and I'm going to alt drag. Before I actually alt drag it, I should make it opaque. 
And the reason I'm making it opaque is I want to see through it to my tracing image. So there we go. Opacity is the opposite of transparency. So Alt drag this thing makes a copy. I'm going to shrink it down and I want to make it approximate that inner shape. So I'm going to use this to cut out. Okay. So this looks like a really complicated design, but it's actually not too bad. So using the tools effectively, now I've got uh, a better design happening. So um, now it would be tempting to cut that shape out right there, but what I'm going to do instead is let's just make that a little bit less opaque. What I'm going to do first is copy this thing because I'm going to copy it and then I can use object, transform, reflect, and OK. And I can move that one over. So I'm almost there. Almost there. So at this point, what I'm going to do is join these two shapes. So I have, according to my layer panel, two compound objects. Let's join those together in one piece. And now I've got one compound path. So what that means is like a compound word, but there's no apostrophe. So if I take the rectangle tool and so using the rectangle tool, I'm going to take this and draw over that one. And that rectangle's purpose is just to cut a hole. So I'm going to use the minus front in the Pathfinder. And let's get a rectangle over here. And select both shapes. I've got to select them both. And minus front. Okay. And the last thing I need to do before I adjust my colors is add the star tool. Now the star tool has some presets in it. I want to go to seven points. And the inner and outer uh, points are two different radiuses. This is a seven point star. And I can rotate this as I see fit to try to get to a line like this. Get the size roughly in place. Okay. That's pretty close. Yeah? Okay. Next, the last thing I need to do before I finish this off and turn it in is choose my colors. So take this. And remember, we've saved as an Adobe Illustrator document. So the Adobe Illustrator document is going to maintain all of my layers and all my stuff. So before I move on too far, I should turn off or hide the tracing layer. So, so moving in there, the last thing I'm going to do is apply color to this. You can pick whatever color you want. But if I choose this, I have that. It's still opaque. So choosing the opacity panel, let's bring uh, the opacity back up again like this. And we should apply a stroke color to the edge like this. And you can adjust its thickness like this. And there you are. There's your DC logo. When you're done, of course, use File, Save for Web. And we are going to use the PNG24 preset and save and turn that bad boy in, okay? Great job. Uh, let me know if you have questions. Peace.